The women's basketball team is now 9-1 on the season after their best start in eight years. As BYU TV Skylar Hardman shows us winning, nothing new to sophomore star Lexi Eaton, but her biggest victory has come off the court. Before Lexi Eaton was an All-State guard sporting two state championship rings, BYU head coach Jeff Judkins took notice of her skills. She started attending BYU camps while still in junior high school. And I knew she was going to be a special player. I'm not one to offer a scholarship that early. I usually don't offer till the end of their sophomore year, and that's when I offered her, and she accepted it. It was a no-brainer for me. I wanted to come here. Um, BYU's in my backyard. Everybody around here grows up a fan, and so you want to be a part of that, and it's really special, and I don't regret it one bit, my decision. Eaton's ability to create her own shot had an immediate impact on the Cougars. She started every game as a true freshman and was on track to do the same last year as a sophomore before suffering the only injury of her playing career during the eighth game of the season. It was just a normal move that I've done a thousand times. I just drove to the basket and it was a two-foot takeoff and my knee went one way and my body went the other way and it was just kind of a freak thing. Tearing her ACL was one of the most painful experiences of her life, and rehabilitating it was one of the most trying. But she didn't let that hamper her ambitions. Um, I want us to win conference and uh, win the tournament and get to the NCAA tournament and make some noise. And for myself personally, I want to be the best player in the league. I want to, I want to be the best that I can be. Look at the effort from Eaton. With Eaton averaging 27 minutes and almost 17 points a game, BYU is off to a 9-1 start. Her goals might just become a reality. Skylar Hardman, BYU TV Sports. And Skylar is here with us in studio tonight. What did she do during the downtime of her ACL comeback? Well, she spent most of her time actually studying game film, not only of just herself, but of other basketball players. She said she wanted to play like the best, so she spent most of her time watching NBA players. I know she uh, was going not Saturday because she didn't play well against rival Utah in a game that she wanted to play, play well and now she's got to bounce back against Utah State. Expect big things Saturday? We definitely expect big things out of Lexi. I mean she's just such a prolific scorer. Coach Judkins said he believes for a team to be successful he needs at least three girls that can create their own shots and he counted Lexi as one of those girls on this team. A lot of kids grow up wanting to come to BYU and that's it. Doesn't matter who comes calling. She sounds like she was in right from the start. That's right. Judkins offered her right after her sophomore year and it was a no-brainer, she said. By the end of her senior year, she could have went to basically any D1 college in the country, but chose to stay at home where she could go play for her Cougars. Great athlete, and sometimes great athletes like to try other sports as well. Is she interested in that? Yes, yeah, she actually played a lot of soccer while in high school and as a kid, as well as high jumped. She high jumps here at BYU now, and she told me if she could stay for her fifth year, she might go ahead and play soccer a fifth year at BYU something that she just has in the back of her mind for now. All right, well, that'll be interesting to see. Right now, it's Utah State in the forefront. Thank you, Skylar. Nice report.